what is going on guys and welcome back to another video in this video we're going to discuss how to track your clickbank campaigns using bmob it's a completely free tool uh, they have a very generous free plan and you can use that with not, without any issues uh, in tracking your clickbank campaigns and so we're going to talk about the entire flow and then i'm going to show you a real life example of how to track one of my real life campaigns using clickbank all right so the first thing you have to understand is how this tracking works, right? We have this visitor. He basically goes to a traffic source. So for instance, this could be Facebook ads, Google ads, Bing ads, et cetera, et cetera. They go on the landing page. This is your landing page, okay? From the landing page, they go to the landing page of the offer, okay? Whichever the link you have, the, the link you get to the offer, they're redirected to the, uh, to the landing page of the offer with your tracking link. And then hopefully they go and they click purchase and they purchase this product. And so what a tracker like BMOB is able to help us with is that it can track different parts of this flow, okay? So first of all, it's going to track the clicks on your traffic source. So when you create Facebook ads or Google ads or Bing ads or anything, you're going to go out and you're going to give a special URL that we're going to create a little bit later on in this video. And so when somebody clicks on this URL, it's going to it's going to track and be map tracker and it's going to redirect them to the landing page. OK, next from the landing page, the link to the offer is also going to get tracked. And I'm going to show you how exactly to do that. And then last but not least, when they actually purchase it, uh, we're going to get a post back from uh, Clickbank in this case that the purchase happened with our click ID. And so we know that, it, you know, that way we will know, you know, which which one of these visitors, which, uh, you know, uh, where which ad set it was, ad group, et cetera, et cetera, what happened here, uh, actually purchased it. So we're going to get a lot of data and especially, you know, this click ID that we're going to get back, that we're basically getting back and tracking, uh, it's going to basically connect us to the visitor, okay, their location, everything that happened here, this, everything that happened, this initial click, because as they're going through this flow, yes, we can track him here, but we can't track him once they're on the merchant side. And so, thankfully, we get the, the pay, you know, that, that the pay happened, uh, the purchase happened, and we also get the click ID so that we can link it back to the user. And this is why it's very, very uh, powerful uh, platform, right? And so here I have one of my landing pages, okay? And this is basically gonna get uh, Facebook traffic, it's gonna get Bing traffic. And when you click on add to car, they, they, you know, they still have to enter their name and email, but when they click on continue, it basically redirects them to uh, ClickBank to complete the purchase. And so I'm going to show you how this all works in the entire flow. We're going to learn everything that you need to know. So the first thing, when, when you go into BMOB, you really have to understand a couple of things. It's very, very simple. It's very easy to understand. I know for some people it's very complicated, but there are all, there's only five things you have to understand and actually four things, right? And these are these two things and these two things. And campaign is basically a combination of all of these things. So, for instance, traffic sources, affiliate networks, landings, offers, uh, you need to know these. And then the campaign flows is an optional thing. You don't need to know flows. And in fact, for this tutorial, we're not going to be using flows. So the first thing you have to set up is your affiliate networks. OK, so we're going to go into affiliate networks and I already have two set up. I have Clickbank and Max Bounty. If you don't have it set up, you basically click on new from template. Once you click on that, you're going to go to ClickBank and you're going to choose it, right? As simple as that. Next, we're going to go into traffic sources, okay? I also have the major ones set up here. I have Google AdWords, Facebook, YouTube, and Bing. And all you have to do is go to new from template and type Facebook. Let's say you're doing Facebook. You're going to click on here and you're going to click on next. And you're going to be basically kind of see what's happening here, right? And the power of BMOB, of this tracker, is that it's able to kind of pre-populate everything, right? And so when you create a link here, right, when you create like an entry here, you're going to have ad ID, ad ID, you're going to have all these tokens that are going to be populated on Facebook because you're going to give this URL to Facebook when you create the ads. Uh, inside the ad manager, you're going to create the campaigns, ad sets, and ads. And inside the ads you're going to give them something like a track URL. And once you do that, it's basically going to populate all of these for you. Okay. 
And so I'm going to show you how that works in a second. All right, so we have we have our traffic sources, then we have the landings, and we go into landings, and we're going to create it together. I have one for another campaign, but we're going to create a new one from scratch for this specific lander. So we're going to go in here, we're going to click on new, and we're going to enter the name. And the name could be like something like, call it whatever you want. I'm going to call it text chemistry because that's the name of the product, TC1. And that's the URL, okay? And there's a bunch of tokens. We don't really care for that right now. We're going to leave it on default. We're going to pick United States because we're only sending US-based traffic here. And we're going to click on save, okay? Next, we're going to go on offers, okay? And we're going to do the same thing. We're going click, to click on new. And then we're going to click on the name of the offer, TC1. I don't remember the exact URL, but that's the URL. When you go into ClickBank, it's the URL that you're getting from ClickBank. And actually, so once you're logged into ClickBank, you're going to go into the marketplace. You're going to search for that offer. We're promoting a product called Text Chemistry. And then we're going to sort, sort it by gravity. I believe it's like one of the first ones. Okay, so it's, it's, it's somewhere here. We're going to click on Promote. We're going to enter our uh, ID, ClickBank ID. We're going to generate hoplinks. We're going to copy and pay and copy this. We're going to go back to our BMOB and we're going to paste this, this URL here. OK, and so we have this set up. We're going to click on save. OK, and now we have this URL here. OK, and the only thing that's left is to create a campaign. OK, and then you go into your campaign screen. You click on new and here is where a lot of fun things happen. And so there's a lot of interesting things. We're going to call it campaign one. So like TC campaign one c1 is kind of my abbreviation uh for this campaign we're going to be sending facebook traffic source we're going to do only united states uh tracking domain so i recommend having your own custom domain and you can set it up using another screen that i'm going to show you in a second if not you can just start with account default that's fine cost model auto destination you want to use a built-in flow and this is where you set up how the traffic is going to flow, all right? So we're using a landing page. Landing pages are optional because a lot of people don't use landing pages. And, you know, you don't have to use a landing page, but we are. So we're going to add a new landing. We're going to click on this and we're going to add an existing landing, right? So you can add a new one or you can add an existing one, okay? So if you have multiple uh, landing pages, you can basically, you know, specify a percentage of traffic that goes to each one. So that makes a, a very, very powerful. Next, once we have the landing, we're going to add an existing offer. We're going to click on this and we're going to enter this global TC1. That should be United States TC1. I don't know why it's global, but... And then we have a bunch of rules, right? You can, you can add a bunch of... You can add a separate path. This is the first path. You can do another path, a different combination. You can. It's going to be 50% because we have that. We, if you delete it, you're going to be back to 100%. So you can add different paths you can also add a new rule right you can have a condition so for instance custom header state if the user is from this state route them to this landing pages right so you can create a bunch of landing pages and basically create a bunch of interesting conditions depending on uh, where they are from so for this campaign it's going to be only us based traffic we're sending uh, you can do you know canada you can do uk uh, this top five tier five countries and you can basically do language, maybe do it in multiple languages, things like that. And once you do that, once you create those landing pages, you can basically create rules. So for instance, I have a country, country equals to, and I can basically pick a country. Let's say I want to say uh, people from Afghanistan. I want to uh, basically, I want to send them to something else. So I create a basically uh, AF, which is a code for Afghanistan. I'm gonna, I can create a new path, right? So everybody's going to go in here. This is the default path. But if they match this condition, they're going to go through this path. And it's the same thing, basically, how we're setting it up. It's the landing page and offer. And then inside, you have multiple landers, multiple offers. And then you can create various conditions for different, uh, different countries, different conditions. And so we're going to save this. We basically set it up. We have all the defaults, things like that. We're going to click on save, okay? And so this basically created a new campaign. Now, once it creates a campaign, we get very important URL. So the first URL you have to understand is something called the campaign URL. And this is the URL you're going to go into Facebook. So when you're creating ads, 
and specifically it's, it's going to be at the ad level right so this is the third level you have the campaign ad set and ad at the ad level it's going to ask you for the link and you're basically going to copy this and paste it there okay if you want to uh, have a more thorough uh, tutorial on this check out some of my previous videos on Facebook ads I'm going to link them below and you're going to learn exactly how to do that next we have this click URL and this multi offer URL okay this click URL you have to link it to this button right remember this is the click URL let me show you on the diagram so when you when the landing pages goes to here you're going to be basically linking them using this click URL let me put click URL so it's understandable because the, their names are very confusing they're not um they're not really the names are they the names could be definitely better i would call this landing page url or something and this would be this is the campaign url right this one right here this is the campaign url let's name it campaign url the same way they have it in bmap okay so we have the campaign url okay and this is going to be the post back url once they purchase that's the post back URL. You're gonna get post backs back to um back to click uh, from ClickBank to BMOP Tracker. This is the post back URL. Let's call it URL and let's do this. This is gonna be the post back URL. And that is something you have to set up inside, uh, basically inside of ClickBank. And I'm gonna show you in a second how to do that. All right, so once you created your campaign, if you go in back to BMOB, you have your campaign URL, and this is and this is basically this URL here. You give it to Facebook. You have something called a campaign test URL, and you can basically that's for testing. Okay, so you know you don't want to test the real URL because you're gonna have data inside uh, inside of BMOB, and it's kind of hard to get rid of that data. You have to archive the entire campaign, create a new one. So if you want to test the redirects and everything like that, you basically use this URL. For the click URL, it's basically this URL. And it's basically when it, when it comes to this landing page, we're going to be linking to this URL here. Now, BMOB allows us to track multiple offers. We only have one offer, right? So we're going to be using this click URL. If you have multiple offers, and remember, you configure the offers inside your campaign, you're going to be using click forward slash one, click forward slash two, click forward slash three, et cetera, et cetera. And you know you can create basically multiple and what you're going to be doing is i have one button right and let's say i want one landing page but i want to run it to multiple offers one to text chemistry another one to somewhere else another one to another product i will have multiple links and each one will have a different link and i also need to configure multiple offers inside of this campaign so if i go in here and i click on edit uh, we basically need to create multiple offers inside here so you can basically add a new offer or you can add an, an existing offer but you will need to have multiple offers otherwise you can't really have these multiple uh, click urls it's just not gonna work all right so let's go back to the screen our campaign links and now we have the post back url this is the url that you give to clickbank so that it can post back uh, the basically the sales that you're getting back to you so that you can track these sales right and this is very important it, it, it basically uh, completes this loop right we have bmop basically and this is incorrect this is actually like this let's actually this is actually so let, let's do this correctly uh, this is actually here and we're gonna do this here so in the beginning bmop basically gives the url to facebook and then it's tracking all the way and then there's the complete circle right with the post back sends us back the result if we're getting if we have a sale right and you basically need to configure that inside clickbank and i'm going to show you where to do that all right so in order to connect this properly to clickbank so that clickbank basically posts data back to you there is a special ClickBank integration inside of BMAP. And all you have to do is go into settings on the top panel and go into integrations. And you're going to have the ClickBank secret key and the ClickBank instant notification URL. You're going to copy this. You're going to go back into ClickBank and you're going to go into here, right? You're going to go into vendor settings and you're going to go into my site. You're going to scroll down and you're, you have these advanced tools. Now, I already have this entered here correctly. And you basically need to enter the secret key and, and the instant notification URL. 
and that will allow you uh, for clickbank to basically post back data back to you and so that you can basically track everything correct all right so that is how you configure clickbank with bmop tracking and if you know how to do this method it's it pretty much works very very similarly uh, in other methods as well so you're not going to have any problems configuring it uh, with other systems as well now one thing i want to point out is that bmop has a lot of other options you can go into domains and you will be able to set up various tracking domains here another thing you can go into tracking urls and it's basically going to tell you what your tracking urls are and they're all pretty much the same uh depending on they're called generic but remember bmob knows your traffic source it has that data so when you configure this url it's going to be the same one uh bmob is going to know where to redirect it based on the traffic source based on the offer you're promoting based on the landing page it has all that data so the url stays the same but it's going to be different uh depending on you know the kind of settings you have and they're basically telling you click urls for landing pages as to as post by conversion pixels so you can read a little bit about it you can basically upload conversions right and this is very good for um you know if they're basically giving you a dump right they're not they're, they're not able to give you uh, this post back url but they can basically uh they can give you these transaction ids in kind of the offline method right and you can upload them here you have bot filters you have referral program multi-user access the main security you have a lot of really cool options that you can use and so uh, there's definitely a lot of um, a lot of great things with BMOP and especially with a built-in ClickBank integration. There's a lot of nice things you can do. All right, guys. So this is all I wanted to cover in this video. I really, really hope you've gotten value from this. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. We'd be happy to help you out. If you enjoyed this video, smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel for more content such as this one. And once again, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in the next video.